Hey YouTube, welcome back. Um, reminder, if you want a lesson with moi, check the link down there and you'll work something out and we'll make you a better trombone player slash musician. Both of them are important. Um, second reminder, I have way too much hair. Please help. It just keeps growing and keeps getting longer and I, I don't know what to do about it. Anyway, let's move on to today's subject. Keeping the chin flat. Robert Leone. I hope that's how you spell or how you pronounce your last name, has asked, what does this really mean and how do you keep it from being a smile embouchure? You, kind of might, you might interpret that as doing this, right? Well, it's not that. Basically, um, Doug Elliott has said that the trombone is a single reed instrument. Single reed meaning not reeds, of course, we have a mouthpiece, but we have stuff that vibrates inside the mouthpiece to make noise. Our air passes over our lips and they go and this kind of focuses it, puts it in the trombone, we get noise, right? And by single reed, he means that the top lip vibrates on the bottom lip. The bottom lip just chills out, stays still, and the top lip vibrates on it. So on a clarinet, for instance, a single reed instrument's got a mouthpiece that is just you know, a piece of like hard rubber, and it's got a reed on top of that, and the reed vibrates against the mouthpiece. The mouthpiece doesn't really do anything. It's just there for a solid place for this to vibrate against. On a double reed instrument, oboe, bassoon, they have two of the same reed that are sandwiched against each other, and they vibrate against each other at the same time. That's not how we play trombone. The lips do not vibrate at the same time. Maybe it does for some people. This is my interpretation, of course. Um, but Doug Elliott had a very convincing um, presentation of this. He would free buzz. And then he would replace his bottom lip with his finger or his tongue. And he would do both of those and do the exact same thing. And he would buzz like double high B flats and stuff. Um, just free buzz with his finger in place of his bottom lip and his tongue in place of his bottom lip. No problems. Sounded exactly the same. He had all the same flexibility and stuff. Obviously, you can't you can't play that way. That's why we have a bottom lip. But the point is, the bottom lip is just there to stay firm and and still almost. It still has you know some suppleness. It's able to move. Um, it doesn't stay exactly the same all the time. It's not exactly like a single reed mouthpiece on a clarinet, but. Basically, it's there to stay still. And when you have a flat chin, a pointed chin, as some people say, kind of get that goatee, that gives the bottom lip that nice firm place to just chill. You notice as I move through ranges, three octaves there, the chin is just chilling out. And there's small differences in my oral cavity. The top lip is doing tiny little different things. Bottom lip, it's just chilling. It's not doing anything, even as we get lower. The chin still stays flat and doesn't do anything. So these muscles right here, the corners, are engaged and kind of keeping this from doing a bunch of weird stuff, bunching up or puckering or doing weird stuff just stay still. And that bottom lip is the mouthpiece against the reed of the top lip that vibrates. So if you want to practice this, the best way I can really get this across is to free buzz. That's the biggest thing for me. You know, if you if you can't free buzz right away, find a mouth or a, a note on the mouthpiece. And practice taking the mouthpiece away while not substantially changing this. Um, you can do it on the instrument as well. It's probably even better to do it this way. And just practice doing it that way. Have a nice, small, almost airy free buzz in a very, it's kind of quiet, right? In right in the middle of your chops, wherever that is. It doesn't have to be in the middle of your face, in the middle of your chops. Um, and that'll give you a really good idea of how the stuff needs to be engaged when you play. And eventually you open up that range and you'll understand, oh, that needs to be still. It needs to be flat, pointed, whatever the way you want to put it. Hopefully that gives you some kind of idea, Robert um, and others watching this, keeping that flat 
chin. We'll see you guys next time.